Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, just got to do a fun watch unboxing for you. I'm uh, pretty excited about this one. And as you can see, we have a watch that came from Japan. So um, I'll just get right into it. Um, here's my, my trusty James Rand knife here. Um, just got this watch in. It's a, a relatively new, brand new release from Seiko, as you'll be able to see in a second. Um, pretty excited about it. It's, uh, I'll just go ahead and tell you, it's the new color and the new version of the Seiko Sumo. Um, if you guys aren't familiar, Seiko just launched uh, a couple new colors, um, this being one of them. I haven't seen a whole lot of press about it yet. Um, just some stock photos, of, you know, their uh, Seiko's kind of imagery that they use in the magazines, and that's about it. I haven't really seen them online. Literally searched the hashtag for SBDC097, and there's three photos on Instagram, and they're all um, from Japanese websites, not in English. So, should be fun. Um, been kind of wanting a Seiko, uh, Seiko Sumo for a while. You can see more writing here, just the stock white box. This is the latest generation of the Seiko Sumo. And if you aren't aware, um, they started doing the new 6R movement in them. Um, sapphire, sapphire glass, and uh, it's a bit thinner. It's, it's only 12.5 mil thick instead of, I think the old ones are above 13. And that's because the the new movement is a bit thinner, so the, they could make the, the watch a bit thinner. So, um, ordered this from Sakura um, online. I haven't heard much about them, but did some research and it seems like people were pretty pretty pleased with them. It's the best price I could find, and I'll, honestly, it's one of the only places that carried them. So, um, here you go, the SBDC. 097. Bam. It's a sunburst gray dial. Sorry, I'm getting a lot of reflection there. With a gray bezel. And then it's got accented orange seconds hand. Really cool combination. I'd, like I said, I've been looking for a Seiko Sumo for a while. I've been wanting to try one. I like the updated handset that these get versus the original handset, but I like I think I like the original bezel font better, so it's kind of give or take, but then you get sapphire, you get a thinner watch. Look at that case, man. Awesome case. Really cool chamfering there on the underside. It's a big watch, it's 45 mil, but everyone says it wears uh, quite a bit smaller than that because the lug to lug is a bit um, shorter. So, let's pop it off here. Oh wow, yeah, really nice bezel action. Tight, but not hard to turn. Um, my old, old now, my Seiko Turtle is a bit gummier, if you will, than this. This is a little bit cleaner feeling. But that dial, man, you can see that, that's really cool. Gray, I've been looking for a sunburst gray dial for a while, um, saw this one come up. Um, had to take a chance on it. Screw down crown, obviously. 200 meters water resistance. Hack, hand wind, automatic, all the jazz. There's the date turnover. Push that in. Drilled lugs, as you can see. See if it does say anything on the back here. Sorry, it's kind of hard to. I wonder if it is. A, it does say if it's limited edition or not, because it just says 6R Japan, model number, stainless steel, sapphire crystal, got the Seiko Wave, 200 meter water resistance, no, and then 6R with your serial number. So, no denotion of limited or not 
kind of your standard Seiko clasp there, um, nice and sturdy. A um, little bit of micro adjust, double push there. So nothing, nothing crazy to speak about in terms of in terms of the bracelet that I can see. Yeah. But you can see on the tag here, SBDC 097, 93,500 Japanese. Um, it's about 800 and change, depending on the exchange rate and where you get it from. But um, I'll do a full review on this. I just wanted to get it unboxing just because it's so new and I, I know I haven't seen too much of these out there yet. So pretty excited to give this guy some wear. Um, can throw it on wrist here and what am I wearing my trusty sub I'm gonna go lefty on you guys oh get a little squirrely bam yeah I mean I got bigger wrists so I wasn't really ever afraid of the uh, of the size of it but it definitely is a piece it's a bigger piece it's a big bigger watch but um, because of that case design you're not it's not wearing like the full 45 wood but you can kind of see that dial has some warmth to it the gray it's not a kind of a cold it's more warm tone really fun color I, I don't know if I've seen a, a silver dial like this before but let me know what you think. Pretty cool new Seiko Sumo and a great color combo. Should be a great kind of everyday piece. I'm excited to get this one in the rotation. Let me know what you think, guys. Bye.